Welcome back, folks, to another episode with FC United. And, uh, wow, what can I say? We have... Um, it's been a little bit of an indifferent form, it has, it has to be said. But we do f still find ourselves in sixth position. We're only two points behind Chessfield now, who are lying in fifth. And uh, further four points away from Southend in fourth. We are now... I think it's eight points away from the leaders now. We've still got three games in hand. So as long as we keep winning, I'll be quite happy with that. So let's take you through the results that we've had since our last episode. There's been a lot of change to the uh, fixtures as well. So after the 4-2 win against Chel uh, Cheltenham and the 2-0 over Rochdale, we lost to uh, Crawley. We kind of struggled in this one. We went 1-0 up to 2-2 and then they get a winner. On uh, the 73rd minute, we just had no answer for them whatsoever. That was really disappointing. I couldn't believe it. Crawley was somewhere be below us, and then they all, all of a sudden caught up with us. 5 1 victory against Plymouth. I tell you what, it's so indifferent this uh, league. Um, if we look back, Plymouth smashed us 2 0 last time, but we absolutely hammered it this time round with uh, four goals from Martel Taylor Crossdale. Yes. A hat trick and one more when the Shearer scoring. But yeah, Fenton didn't score. <laughs> but uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. We have got instead today. Then we were going to bring uh, Solihull Moors and somebody else. I think it may have been Chesterfield or something like that. But that's been moved because Hartlepool in the FA Cup. We've got that next, which we are going to show, and we are still going to be playing the Solihull Moors one, which I think uh, if we win that one, we'll distance ourselves further away from the outside the playoffs. So, Hartlepool, where are they? Uh, they're in the Vanarama National League. They're lying in 10th position. And they don't seem to have played that many games, actually. Uh, they're on a good run of form, apart from the league. Lost to Edfleet and uh, Eastleigh. But they've been playing cup match after cup match after cup match, by the looks of things. So, yeah, a lot of uh, um, Vic wins in there. Bit of form. And what are they like in the table there? 7 2 8. No goal difference. Okay, that's fine. We can live with that. And we know Hartlepool from our time in the Vanarama anyway. So hopefully we'll uh, navigate through them and uh, then go on to, for a victory against Solihull. I mean, the teams in this division are, uh, it's quite surprising how well we are actually doing, though, to be fair. And with Crossdale coming into his own at the moment, he's literally scored, uh, well, he is scoring very well, very well indeed. Let's bring this up. So Fenton's got 22 goals so far this season. Fowler's got 16, but closely followed behind him is Crossdale with 13, and then there's a huge gap. Hawkins on the right-hand side with seven goals, and then everybody else just chipping in. But uh, it's nice to have forwards that are scoring goals, and that's what we do need, and uh, that's who we do miss as well. So let's take you through to the team that's going to be taking on this game. There has been some movement in the market, I have to say, so let's uh, take you through that first, actually. So a couple of transfers. Adebayi has gone for, to Plymouth for £6 million. We've got a few. few um, Leonie's gone. Ali Moore, Jamie Morgan, uh, Evans as well, all going out on loan. But we do bring in Trav uh, Tavio Dalmida. And uh, there's a big problem. Uh, work payment, because he's Ivorian. He hasn't played for his country. Uh, we picked him up thinking he was pretty good. He looks pretty good. And we can't play him because he's been denied a work permit. It's cost us 20 grand. But now we've got to wait three months before we can uh, apply for another one, which is uh, rather annoying. So we have to wait again. So I'm not happy. So we spent some money on him. £1,000, actually. It's not a lot. Uh, from Bath City, who got him on the free. We paid 1000 he looks all right. He's got a couple of assists to his name, and that's somebody we want to drive forward from the midfield. And also, we could put Green on that uh, in the centre as well. We were looking for a left winger as well. But uh, also, we do lose uh, Dutton as well. He's gone back to uh, Middlesbrough. We weren't happy about um, him playing out of position. So we kind of scuppered a little bit on the right hand side. So I'm not happy. So we've got Boston in goal. We've got Williams, Joseph, O'Driscoll, Cocolo. Uh, you're probably wondering where Littlewood is. He's not on the bench. He can't play with the Joseph for some bizarre reason. So we're looking at a centre-back as well. We're trying to bring some extra players in. We've got some room in the uh, guard, so Almeida can't be playing. He's not going to be registered. Salah and Brennan in the centre. We've got Hawkins on the right, Green on the left. Green's going to go support. Hawkins is going to go attacking this time uh, after his uh, hat-trick escapade in one of the games. Cross down and Fowler up front. We're going to give them a game. Uh, Fenton's on the bench. He's going to have a little bit of a break, but he's uh, probably one of our star players this season. So, without any further ado, let's get cracking into this game. 
Uh, first game, Hartlepool away from home. So hopefully we can just jump straight into it all and uh, just go straight ahead and win. So uh, auto numbers, let's give them all some numbers. So Hawkins got a number seven shirt, should be honoured. Uh, Joe Taylor and uh, Driscoll got their own numbers now as well, so that's kind of nice. So let's process this game. And uh, let's see the teams warming up. As There's the crowd all anticipated. wonder how many are there. Hartlepool, like I say, are in the Vanarama, so we should go and uh, win these. But we know what we're like against teams who are... Uh, divisions below and uh, a lot lower in the leagues than us the highlight now as the shot goes in it's a free kick by Hawkins who else he's uh wow what can I say it's a beautiful goal isn't it from a free kick goalkeeper should have had it covered though uh, I think that's the first free kick we've scored in quite a while I'm gonna ignore that uh, with a fantastic effort and an incredible goal, apparently. Joseph now with the uh, free kick it down in the corner. He has it back and then pumps it up. As uh, it's headed to Crossdale, the man of the moment. Hawkins once again down this right-hand side. Crosses it in and uh, there's Fowler. So Fowler scores his 17th goal. There's goals are plenty. Uh, Crossdale is playing virtually nearly every game at the moment because he's uh, quite versatile in that uh, that role he's got. And uh, he feeds Fenton and Fowler very, very well. And... Uh, He's taken everybody away from the attention of Fowler. Fowler finds himself in a little bit of room. Lovely stuff. So, 2-0. We're coasting. There was a time when we, I think we played uh, Hartlepool for the first time when we were in the lower leagues. And it was a giant killing display as well. And uh, we're doing it once again. This time, we're do well, it's no giant killing opportunity this time. As Hawkins plays it back and it's hoofed out behind the Hartlepool goal. Should be a corner then. Crossed out to take it. We do not find our head. Brennan on it. Holds it up and then loses it. Uh, he should have it back though. Well that half has gone literally so fast. But uh, I'll take it at the moment. Good performance. We're away from home as well. Our away form isn't the best. And we do have the tendency to lose at home as well. So if we don't take it to a replay that would be great. Uh, in fact if... There even is a replay. Harry Green, he's not playing so well at the minute. Maybe we need to put him into midfield. Put Zaziani on the left and bring him in. Possibly. But um, it's 3-0. Crossdale is offside. I don't think it was, though. It's a goal that he probably deserves so far. Uh, we're going to have another close look. It's, okay, slightly. Fair, ever so slightly. It's disappointing that he's been caught, but it happens. Corner ball, we header it away. We are very good at defending recently as well. Apart from that Crawley game where we lost 3-2. Uh, but it does happen now and again. But the fact that we're uh, strolling up this league table at the moment and playing very well. It's a foul and that could be a sending off. It's a yellow card and then he's gone. That's another yellow card and he's gone. He's in trouble. He's already been booked. He's gone this time. They're down to 10 men. And uh, we are, should well, we are and we should be coasting now, I feel. Uh, half an hour to go. We could look to bring a couple of players in. Maybe Littlewood. Could come in if he was on the bench. He's not, I've just realised. But Leesley, down to 10 men. Oh, it's a lovely ball. A dink over the goalkeeper. And um, I'm going to berate him a little bit for that. We're playing against 10 men. Corner ball, cross down. Let's find a red shirt. Goalkeeper comes, he collects. What's he going to do with it? Brzovski? Is that how you say his name? Uh, lofts it up. And we play it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Okay, we'll take it from the back. Play it out wide. Williams getting his first game for in an age. Now we've lost Dutton. We are struggling. We kind of play Spence there, which is a which is a relief, and and that's a good effort. It should have been a goal. Fowler should have buried it. I'm not going to lie. Ziani should be coming on. I'm going to push Green into the centre. I think, and I might have him as an uh, advanced playmaker instead. Uh, that's what I am going to do with just over half an hour to go. They manage to keep it in and they play it out. We don't harry them at all. But we do play it back in here. Salah now on the ball. What's he going to do? He shoots. Salah's not getting the game time he probably wants as well. And uh, I can't seem to get a, uh, a substitution going here. Joseph is just jogging around. Oh, nearly lost it then. Good uh, recovery, Salah. This is one touch football at its best almost. Uh, Salah should bury it. He does bury it. That's his first goal of the season. I'm very happy for Mo. 
he deserves a goal and uh, I think uh, I'm not sure if we actually uh, we are going to renew some of these contracts uh, some of the players are not good enough and uh, I think we're going to release come the uh, summer as well so we end up having a uh, a new side um, as well so Harry Green could come into the middle for Bremner and we're going to bring Ziani in Nishiro actually could come in for you know what? I'm going to bring Nishiro in Hawkins can have um, Harry can have a break and do we want to bring Fenton in at this point Poss um, you know what I'm going to leave Fenton Fenton can have a break I feel like he needs a break Spence can come in at some point as well Joseph is tired. Uh, Colo. Williams is okay. He's delighted to be playing. He's playing okay. Uh, everybody's having a good game so far. They don't want to come off. That's what it is. If we can just see out this game, get a, uh, another goal possibly. It's 3 1 actually. When did we score an extra goal? Sada, of course it is. Corner ball, Ziani. Not quite getting it to our heads, but the second ball does. And then we knock it over by Hawkins. It's a good effort. It's a good try. Uh, 22 shots. I've just seen that now as well, and that's wow. That's that's a lot. Crossed out. They've got goalkeeper saves it. We should pick up. It is what the Joseph. Did you see that? He literally pegged it back across the goal. What I think that was a fantastic vision. Crossed out with a uh, free kick. It's a good save. Well, you can see that he pegs it over. Foul into the empty net. Nobody can do anything about that. Fowler gets his goal as well. He's got two now. Crossdale's not got one, so we want to try and get him one, but it doesn't really matter. 4 1 winners. We're starting to put to bed these teams and uh, 2.63. Away from home as well, folks. Away from home. Well done, boys. A fantastic victory. I can't say any fairer than that. Uh, it is a team from the Vanarama. We should be putting them teams to bed anyway. And uh, how we struggle against some of these teams is just beyond me. So let's have a look at what the media have to say about it. Uh, pretty happy about that, all things considered. Everybody I've seen how to play has played out of the skins today. The dead Hawkins just edges it in my player of the match. Wow. Uh, Hawkins had a, get, had an all right game. Nothing more than expected. Uh, well deserved for one victory. Nice. I like it. We go into the hat for the next round as well. It's just a pity we can't put some of these cup games into the league. But we are in League 2. We are in the Football League. We are a professional... That reminds me, are we a professional side? Let's have a look. We are professional status. So that's nice. So dominance turned into a, a victory. Uh, we've got 28,000 this time around. That's nice. Hawkins on form once again. Another goal, superb. Goal and assist and heads up about Johnson. He should be a regular player. Uh, okay, look, what, what's your issue? At the moment, not that I stand as a player regular here. I want some time to think about challenging you. I won't stand in your way. It's disappointed, but I can see I'm not going to change your mind. He's encouraged. What, what, have I, what have I done? I take it he wants to leave. Okay, Johnson. I mean, he's 29 years. He's one of the players we are not going to renew, but we sh he should really be good. I mean, maybe we should be putting him on the left-hand side, possibly. I don't know. So we've got Solihull Moors in two days' time. That's the turnaround. Hopefully, we've got a second team to uh, pull out, though, but we'll see you there in just two days. Right then, at home, Solihull Moors. There's, I don't think there's that much of a change to the side. Garrity comes into the centre for Brannan. And uh, Crossdown and Fowler head up the attack once again. Uh, Fenton has the flu, so we can't play. But uh, apart from that, I don't think there's any major changes to the side. So we're going to leave it as it is. Uh, Green's probably didn't expect to start. Uh, Driscoll starts because he's happy. I'm happy. They're all loving life at the moment. This will be a massive victory. Again, another one that will take us further up the table Solihull are just below us as well so we need to extend our lead over them to 10 points at least we have got six point gap or seven point gap from outside the uh, promotion playoffs as uh, they come away with it we should intercept it it's a hooked left or right whichever way you're looking at it and uh, Solihull are coming at us like the clappers what the hell has gone off uh, let's head it away and that is a poor, poor effort. I mean, they've had chances to get this away. They haven't got it away. And this guy up there just clapping. There's a guy on the stands just clapping away. Just like that. I mean, what is he doing? We don't want that to happen. The missed header there. Driscoll and uh, Spence didn't pick it up either. So Williams is having a break. Uh, Spencer is probably in a better form than Williams. But saying that. We won our last game, and maybe that's the one position we shouldn't have changed. We shouldn't change our back four, really. 
maybe one player that's about it which we have done it shouldn't really make that much of a difference but we have got the ball now but we're chasing the game and we're not very good at chasing games if we're leading then we're uh, in a very good position and we can hold the ball better but uh, we do expose ourselves it's a good ball over to green gets it into the box shoot it's a goal Garrity, what a finish for his first goal of the season. We're halfway through the season now. And he pulls that out. What a finish. We'll take it. The crowd are cheering as well. That's what we'd like to hear as also. But uh, it was Fowler who played it back. And Garrity just played it. It's a lovely finish. We'll take it. We're back on level terms. We're back up to... Uh, we have got games in hand, don't forget. So that is going to play a major part of this season as well. But also with them games, there's going to be an overload of fixtures as well. So we could end up uh, messing things up. But as it stands, the players are playing really well. Play it again. Doesn't have to. Garrity's done it again. He hasn't scored a goal. Then two come along inside a minute. What a player. I mean, it is just like the number two boss with two goals. Wonderful stuff. If anybody uh, lives in the city and know about buses, then that's the reference to it, I guess. There's nothing that... There's no buses that come along. Then all of a sudden two three come at once maybe you might get a third one who knows but uh there's a highlight straight away so maybe it could happen but we've turned the game on its head we are winning bennett comes forward let somebody tackle it he's, he's racing ambitious he's got a few friends with him now he's got a friend at uh distance uh, please garrity in suspense hurrah 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 there they are look here again is he gonna pass hurrah Garrity is playing absolutely it's fantastic. Give him the ball. Let him shoot. Spence, cross, back. Pe How we've not scored that, I've got no idea. Straight across the face of the goal. We should have buried it. Absolutely buried it. Especially when we got ourselves onto it. But at the moment, this uh, formation with the two Mazzalas in the centre midfield, it seems to be working for us pretty well. And uh, he says that. It's... Still very tight. Uh, I'm happy with the way things are going. So we've opened up sorry, a 9-point lead over... Uh, no, it is a 10-point lead over Solihull. So that's pretty neat. And uh, we have opened up an 8-point gap over Rochdale. Uh, cross comes in. It's gone over their heads. And we hoof it up. Foster's first on it. He's got Crossdale ahead of him. The four's not really having uh, much luck today. But they are playing well by holding the ball up, coming up for it, uh, getting the ball and passing it around. Hawkins, go on, son. Do your stuff. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Hawkins. No, 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 no. Wow, that's off the cro That's just crashed off the crossbar. I can't sit still. I'm literally on my edge of the seat here. This is uh, half an hour to go. Look, we'll have to Fleetwood are winning. We have to bring in some players in as well. Uh, that's a good stop by Boson as well. Johnson for Green. And let's do it. Let's do it. Johnson's one of the players. He's been asked for a transfer. And I've put, brought him on. Uh, might get something out of him. We don't know. We'll see. But Green's coming off. Seems to be one of the first players to come off all the time. And uh, we play it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Boson's very solid. And since he's been back in goal, we've looked very solid. Apart from the Crawley game, obviously. As uh, Cross comes in. That's just over. I tell you what, we are. Joseph is looking very, very beat down there. So what I'm going to do? Uh, ah, we could have just done the quick change. Crossdale is knackered. Oh, we haven't got no forwards. Dan Mooney up front. Damn, damn, Dan. <laughs> and Joseph will have to come on for Littlewood as well. Okay, we'll go along with that. Two subs. We've used them now. So we're just going to have to sit tight. We're not going attacking. Hawkins is knackered. We, he can't run anymore. And um, Hawkins, can he go the other side? Johnson on the ball. Crosses it. It's a good ball in. Should have been buried. O'Brien with a save to his right as he lofts the ball forward. We head it straight back to him. I'm looking, I've just realised I'm looking very close to the screen. Very, very close. Uh, if I sit back, I can see. That's a bad ball. Hmm. Well, clearly our goalkeeper couldn't see that. Um, not happy about that at all. Let's uh, let's berate that entire team. Twelve minutes to go. We should have sorted that out. Uh, no, cancel. Yes, just cancel it. Um. 
I'm going to demand more. Did they? Did we berate them in the end? Mooney on the ball now. Just when we need a, a strike. Can Fowler do the job? If Crossdale's gone off, maybe Fowler can do it. We're trying to get the ball into the box. Not quite managing it, though, at all. Do we guarantee we need a hat-trick from you, my friend? We ha He hasn't done anything since the 17th minute. And that's disappointing. Chance Taylor with a long throw. Damn it, I thought he flicked the header on there, but O'Brien must have caught that. But uh, from the escapades from the 4-1 uh, the victory in the last game in the FA Cup, we, we might steal it. Yeah, there's a through ball. Fowler. Mm, that's close. Probably one of the few players you want in front of there. Give it him back. Oh, my word. Johnson with a shot. I tell you what, I would have uh, hugged and kissed him if he uh, scored that. Would have given him a new contract. But uh, Littlewood should be able to pick that up. He plays it back to Taylor. Uh, that should be the end of the game now. A few minutes left of the uh, normal time. And that's it. I think we've thrown away a chance there, boys. I'm not happy. Fowler, Hawkins. I mean, there's a lot of eights there. I mean, 8.3 from Garrity. Couldn't do much more than that. I think with the lack of uh, firepower up front. Um, I'm happy with what I saw. I guess I am. I guess we are. Solihull will have been in the uh, League 2 for a while. Garrity shines. Uh, that's a very nice picture of Garrity there. Uh, we are in sixth position. We have got a bit of a gap, but we are three games behind everybody else. What would that leave us? Nine, 56. Oh, just a point behind Fleetwood. So we've lost our uh, advantage then, I guess. We're at home to Leeds United in the FA Cup third round. Wow. The big guns are coming out. How well are Leeds United doing? We want to really see that, don't we? Uh, we could be going out. They are 14th in the uh, league. How well are they doing? Mm. Might be the time to beat them, I reckon. 1-1 one, one with Sheffield United. Beat Brentford, lost to Liverpool. Ooh, might be the time to play these guys then, I think. Do we go to the ill-fated Barrow game once again? They're bomb we might need something easy after a game against Leeds. I think what that we'll do that. We'll come back to the Leeds game. In the FA Cup third round. It could be a game we go out. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah. Other than that. I think we've done rather well. We're lying sixth in the table. Can't uh, can't uh, say fair in that. And we've got games in hand. What more can we ask for? As long as that players stay fit for this game. I'm sure they will do with it being Leeds. So if you enjoyed that. Please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel. Please subscribe. And until next time folks. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.